Alright guys, so today I'm going to be kind of like reacting to this new show coming out. Uh, Lizzo's new show. You all know Lizzo. Uh, she's at it again with her antics and her, her whole body positivity movement. Which I just think is asinine really. It's madness. But you know, the world has gone mad. Let's see. Representation, of course. The key word, <laughs> the buzzword there, those key words, all those buzzwords have to be in every single movie, advert, every single event that's taking place right now, even at the workplace. Everything has to be diversity, inclusivity, blah, 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 blah. If it's all the, all of every single liberal boss terms you could find, shove it all in a single sentence or in a single project. And there you go, pump it out for the world. You must be inclusive. We must be diverse. Whether you like it or not, we must represent some. Everyone must be represented. From blind people to short people to now fat people, everyone has to be represented. And when all this does in the grand scheme of things, is divide it is con con constantly dividing people divide and conquer because when we're too busy arguing about size and sex and uh age and all this ageism sexism racism this all the isms when we're too busy arguing uh, arguing about that we forget the main thing of that the world is effed right now the world is fucked we're all being screwed in the ass we're all being screwed by the people in power by the people that that are taking the loot give me the loot give me the loot people are, they're taking the loot all the way to the bank all the way offshore building bunkers in new zealand but we don't know that because we're too busy worrying about lizo and people trying to get represented by being morbidly obese and Di diabetic and all that shite. Look at this madness, man. Wait, nigga, the fuck was that? <laughs> nigga. Whoa. That, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's. That's your man, baby. <laughs> On some Austin Power shit. That's a man. Ooh. Nah, that's a that's a nigga. That's a dude right there. <laughs> you see what I keep talking about? This is what I keep talking about. Inclusion, inclusion. Where does it stop? You have to include everybody. There's gonna be a little midget ob obese person right there, right now. Let's keep going. I won't be surprised. Oh, that's a dude. The, the one, 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 one problem I have with this as well, well, I have several lots of problems with it, but one one of the main issues I have with this is they, they're mainly black women. And we all know that, if you don't want to lie, if you don't want sugar sugarcoat shit, we all know that black women right now are on top of the totem pole when it comes to obesity. It's fat as fuck. Undisciplined, not motivated, just feel like you have to accept them. This, this whole accept me for who I am. You have to accept me for who I am. You have to love me for who I am. No, 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 no. People evolve, people change. Like, I hear this nonsense that people say, oh, if you love me, you have to accept me for who I am, accept me for all my flaws. I don't have to do that. The fuck is wrong with you? Accept me for my flaws. Nigga, you, man. What? We, as human beings, we're supposed to evolve. We're supposed to constantly look for change. We're supposed to constantly try to make ourselves better. And if you love me, you will try to improve yourself. Or oh, is attraction a part of the relationship? Don't I have to be attracted to you? Humanity ass. By the way, Azul got into trouble a couple of months ago when they got a... Uh, 
uh, new manatee and they named the manatee. Guess what they named the manatee? Lizzo. You see, one thing about this, uh, especially black women now with obesity, is when when women, I'm talking about black women mainly because I'm from the community and we this this is this is bad in the community, man. Women when they 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 get too lazy to actually change to give you what you want, give the men, black men what they want, they try to force you to accept less. This is less because you can't be bothered to go to the gym and actually lose the weight because it's easier to shove stuff down your throat and get fat to naturally go to the gym and burn some weight. So when they can't be bothered doing that, they feel like, well, you get what you deserve. They, feel, they actually feel like black men, this is what you deserve. This, this is what you deserve, black men. What do you mean the world doesn't love you back? Who's so, 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 oh my Lord, these people, man, everything has to be moaning and complaining and victimhood. You were created specially in your image. You no, we have to improve our image all the time. You think people that walk around with six pack and big biceps and V backs, you think they just magically appear? They work hard for it. I'm at the gym constantly trying to buff up. To no avail, but I try. <laughs> you don't have to enjoy. You don't have to be white skinned. You don't have to be skinny. You're just beautiful. No one is saying you have to be skinny, but we're saying you have to be healthy, though. Be healthy. If not for yourself, for your family, for your kids. Do you want to check out very earlier than you're supposed to? So the way you are, I need to challenge myself and step outside my comfort zone. Now I'm going into competition mode. Liar. Some people are not at the same level that I am. He's trying to demean me. She's not understanding how to read the room. Oh, oh shit. The fuck? Ha Whoa. The fuck happened that? Dude fell off stage. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is just too funny to me. It's like I'm watching an episode of South Park. I can't believe the current world. It's like the world has gone mad. Emotional damage. I see a lot of potential, but this is not the time for potential. There's more than just one image of beauty. The fuck? It's about to get real. They're always trying to trying to shift the pin. Trying, trying to shift, shift the, the bar. They keep redefining what beauty is. Beauty is beauty, and everyone knows what beauty is. You can't tell me what beauty. I bloody know what beauty is. They say, "Oh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder." Fine. If you like manatees, if you like, you know, big pumba uh, uh, looking warthogs, like, go ahead. If that's what you like, that's what you like. That's what you like. To each his own. But I like what I like. And I have friends. I know people that like big women. That's what you like. That's what you like. But when we're talking in generalization, more people like the normal, the regular, the healthy. I would just say that. More people like the healthy than this. So but people do like big, but it's not the majority. Worship you. I think I'll pass on that one. 